Hi everyone, Karen from Dark Moon Emporium here. Today I have been trying out the new clipping mask feature in Xtool Creative Space and I've also been engraving a photograph onto Slate. Xtool are continually adding new features to the Xtool Creative Space software and the latest update has added the ability to use clipping masks. Now clipping masks allow you to crop images to a vector shape in a non-destructive way. In other words, you will still have the original image if you want to go back and edit it, unlike uh, you would if you just cropped it to a shape. I have this photograph of my cat Misty who crossed the Rainbow Bridge a few weeks ago at the age of 15 and I would like to create a memorial to her on a slate coaster. I've already done some editing, I used Photoshop as it happens to increase the contrast of the picture and to crop out some of the background and I increased the DPI count of the image to 500. I'm going to be engraving this on a round coaster that's 100 millimeters in diameter. And first I open the image in XCS and I'm gonna resize it so that the height of the picture is around 100 millimeters. I'm not worrying at all about the width, most of it is gonna be masked out. Next, I'm going to bring in a circle from the shape menu and I'm going to make it 95 millimeters. Now I'm going to position the circle over the photo. And at this point, I wanted to put the circle onto another layer to see if I could see it any better. Uh, I don't think it worked particularly well. Um, it's not that clear where it is, but it will become clearer in a moment. Once the circle is positioned where I think it's going to look good, I right click and then select make a clipping mask from the drop down menu. I can still move the picture around until I'm happy with the way it's placed. And when I am, I click done. So there's one more step when you engrave slate it leaves a light mark on the dark background. So the parts that look dark in the picture are going to engrave light. So I have to invert the image and make it look like a negative. I decided that the image still wasn't quite right. I didn't like the way that the tip of her left ear was being cropped out. So I right clicked again to bring up the menu and this time I chose release clipping mask. I made the adjustments I'd wanted and when I was ready, I right clicked, chose make clipping mask from the menu and then done. So before I sent the image to the laser, I spent quite a bit of time playing around with the parameters until I was satisfied that the engraving would have enough details. So I pushed the sharpness up to 100. Um, the grayscale I tweaked around until I was happy with the, the way the picture looked. I'm using the infrared laser on my F1 and for guidance, the settings that worked for me were dot duration 750, power 95 percent, 700 dpi and I used the bitmap mode of Bayer. Now your results may vary and I do recommend that you do your own tests. So once I was happy with the way the picture looked in the preview I framed it up and sent it to the laser to be burned. Um, it took me four attempts before I was happy with the result. Fortunately Slate can be sanded, so the failures won't be wasted. I can erase the images and they'll be good as new. I was very pleased with the final outcome. And I was so pleased that I had another go. And this photo uh, was taken of Misty when she was still a kitten with her favorite person in the whole world, who was my late husband. She was definitely a daddy's girl. And that's it for now. And I hope you've enjoyed this video and maybe you learned something. And in any case, thank you for joining me. 
and I do hope you'll come back and see me again sometime soon. But for now, bye-bye. <laughs>